and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over a pretty glitchy coin method. Hopefully, this video helps you guys out a ton. Hopefully, you guys make a ton of coins off of it. I will be doing this on video for you guys for the most part. The only issue when I do coin methods on video are that I record, you guys always ask, right? I record at 8 in the morning. Like, I record very early in the morning to get my day done early, which does end up meaning that a lot of prices can always be more expensive for me. So, I always have to, like, and take in mind that things might not work the same way for me earlier they'll probably be even better later on so guys if a coin method works for me this well early in the morning i want to let you guys know it probably works a lot better later at night when prices come down a little bit when i do on prices like no one's on the auction block at this time but still gonna get it done for you guys show it to you guys but guys want to let you guys know i got this method from my boy swift if you guys know his channel i will leave a link down below in the description swift madden however you want to type it in you'll find him i'll leave the link down below i did ask some permission for this of course and pretty much it guys now thank you guys so much for 20k real quick we did hit 20,000 subscribers that is that is crazy i never thought we'd hit that in this madden season i was just hoping for maybe like 8k by the end of this madden but guys you guys did you guys are crazy you guys are the best thank you so much for that guys and i will be running the giveaway on today's video to show appreciation for that guys as you guys know you guys have been killing us i, I gotta up it a little bit more so for every 70 likes that we get i will be giving away 10,000 coins now, I, I did announce the giveaway winners for today's give for yesterday's giveaways or the days before on today's 10 30 video so for today starting over fresh on today's video so every 70 likes will be another 10,000 coins given away so you guys hit a thousand two hundred likes in the other video so that was like 250k I have to give away because i did it like 50 likes so for this video seven likes if you guys get another thousand likes you guys will be getting a lot of coins guys easily over 100k so Go smash that like button. All you gotta need to enter is like the video. Comment down below the number of like you are to make sure that you are entered and I can prove it. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because I do want to be giving away back to subs who have supported me along this journey. Now, guys, it's about it. Let's get into this video because it's kind of this is the long method. This method pretty much means this method is you can get about you can get about 100k plus in easily about 10 minutes if you do this right. And remember, to get 100k in 10 minutes, there's not many methods like that that can really guarantee you that profit margin. Now. Can you get a little bit worse? You can get like, I'm, I'm worse, you get like 60K after reduction. Best case scenario, you probably get like, what, like closer to 200K? Maybe more depending on how lucky you are. But let's get into this method and show you guys how it works. So we're gonna go over to set, we're gonna head over to sets. We're gonna go over to the zero chill. Now we're gonna be focusing on the gingerbread man, guys. Now do not fear. You guys might be thinking, right? The gingerbread men are now non repeatable. You can only do them once. Lucky for you guys, I haven't done them yet. Now here, here's the key to this, right? You can only do them once, but. Every side account you have also can do them once again. So I've never done this method before. So I've never actually used my gingerbread man up. So what this method requires is the Adrian Peterson and the Ted Hendricks. So pretty much I've never done this before. So I'm gonna do it on my main account and then my side accounts. Now guys, you guys were kind of clowning me about side accounts, guys. Say what you want. Side accounts are a, it's a necessary evil in Madden. You guys, there's so many ways to make coins off side accounts. like. The best thing, like the best things I love to do, is when we get like legend fantasy packs and the daily objectives. You go on all your side accounts and you get them done. That's five legend fantasy packs. That's a, it's a pack opening. A five legend fantasy pack bundle costs you about sixty dollars, fifty dollars. That's that's some free money right there. Plenty of ways to take advantage of side accounts, despite what you guys may think. I and and guys, I promise you, it takes more time to grind out a whole weekend, a weekend league for like eighteen plus hours to get like a hundred k. And it does just go on a side account and make 100k in 10 minutes. I promise you guys that. Let's get into the method. So you're gonna need one Adrian Peterson and one Ted Hendricks. If you guys don't have it done, if you guys have it done already, go on your side account and you can go work on it there. But just follow this method carefully. Now, the way you get 10 Hendricks is you're going to need six gingerbread men. And for Adrian Peterson, you're going to need three gingerbread men. Now remember, guys, if you don't if you haven't finished your solo challenges for the zero chill solos, you can go back and probably get those done. If you if you need gingerbread men, so that's another quick way to get it done for pretty cheap. But other way, otherwise. We are going to be doing this set this exact way. So now the set we're focusing on, guys, beyond that is going to be we're gonna be taking those players and putting them into the team of the year defense or the team of the year offense. Now I believe they are the exact same thing. It really comes down to what you prefer. But we're gonna be focusing on the team of the year defense right here because you can get Aaron Donald, which is a much better pull at the end of the day, because you can get a random team of the year defense player, which means Aaron Donald's in here. So now Ted Hendricks will fill the 93 slot and the Adrian Peterson will fill the 91 slot. Then we got to figure out the other three and that's pretty much it for that method. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. Now guys, if you do this properly, you're going to be able to finish this all off for between 150 to 170 K. And I believe on average, the cheapest defensive player goes for a little over 200. So you're looking pretty solid there. Now, before we, finish, before we get into the rest of it, guys, I want to just let you guys know, I will be going over how to transfer coins from sides accounts. If you guys do do that, 
towards the end of the video so stay tuned towards the end to make sure you guys hear about that if you don't know how to transfer coins but let's check out the cheapest defensive uh team D team of the year defensive player so you guys know kind of like the profit margins you're working with here so let's head on over to team of the year and let's see so the lowest ones is going to be 168 so they have come down a little bit but that also means that the other prices have come down as well so it's going to correlate the same way so i'll get over that but again these are the worst possible pulls like literally the worst possible ones on average if you pull one of the better ones which is going to be the 95 96 97s you are going to be looking at easily a profit margin of 230 230 230 230 you're going to be seeing quite a few guys you can get guys like aaron donald who go for approximately 332k which is a solid solid profit jamal adams but let's get on over and let's go start the method and show you guys everything guys to get the gingerbread man you're gonna want to come over to the gingerbread man collectible set it's going to cost you two 81 80 through 82s approximately to go ahead and get this gingerbread man collectible so that means that you need nine collectibles so that means it's times two which is 18. so now the best way to get these guys the price range really depends on the profit you want right now you could be impatient and get a higher price that's fine you're just gonna get less of a profit margin or if you take it patiently you'll make a lot more so let's head on over to the 80 to 80 ones and we're gonna want to snipe these out for as cheap as possible now you can filter them out however you want the best range to get them is between like about 2.7k to 3.3k now this method has been talked about so the prices did go up a little bit on these cards specifically but a lot of the high 90s and stuff have came down quite a bit so it kind of evens out to a sense now let's say we filter out by cornerbacks remember guys it is really early in the morning so in my case being early this early in the morning i'm going to have a harder time finding the cards for the prices that i need to find them for than you guys will so you guys can go ahead like 3.6k is a solid buy right there now remember if you need 18 of these total even at 3.6k which is probably one of the higher values you times it by 18 that is 64,000 coins for these which is not bad in the slightest if it takes 64,000 coins to finish half that set not bad but i recommend you find these for between 2 2 2.5k to about 3.5k anywhere between there remember i'm gonna i'm gonna get off video now and get these all done because it's gonna take me quite a while considering i'm really early in the morning no one's really on right now but remember guys you should be finding much better prices so i'll be right back so we did just get our last gingerbread man guys it took me quite a while not quite a while it took me like five minutes but it felt like quite a while off camera just sitting here quietly but guys we did get them all now i did go overboard on accident i accidentally bought a lot more 80s 81s than i was supposed to so my coins look a lot lower than they should be looking right now i kind of just sat there mindlessly buying them bought like at least over 20 but you only need 18 now guys i got my recommended price that i said was below about 3.6k if you do them about 3.6k it'll come out to about 64k per for me for all of it or if you get them for about 3k which is my recommended price but it's too early for me to be getting that price that'll come out to about 54,000 coin which is the sweet spot but do remember guys the profits that you get are gonna be so large that it's not gonna matter if you lose a few extra 10k it's more about just making sure you get as much as you want so let's go fit in the fill in the ted hendrix with our gingerbread man collectibles that we do have now let's go do that now we have the ted hendrix right there so let's open that card up real quick get our card and then we're gonna get the adrian peterson of course and then we're gonna go ahead and put them into the set and start working on the rest of it so guys so far i spent about sixty-four thousand coins so do keep that in mind in terms of I remember my coin stack do not compare it to the old number it said because i did go overboard buying i spent about sixty-four thousand total which is approximately what it cost me to get all those now for you guys it should cost about fifty-four thousand. i spent a little bit extra because i'm doing it at a bad time now let's head over to the team of the year uh set and start filling in our cards as we get them to show you guys the props remember 64k so far is what we spent so team of the year defense let's toss in our ted hendrix which is right there which okay that there we go the top card's done and let's toss in our 91 to 92 which is our adrian peterson now let's go over to the auction block and find the rest of these cards for super super cheap and get this done okay, so in terms of the 87s the 88s the 89s and those i like to do those through the ultimate legend filters because for the ultimate legend cards they're typically super cheap so let's see dan deodorf his 88 or 87 card should be super cheap Sixteen thousand coins for the 87 card that is super cheap guys now we're going to find our 89 to 90 card so let's see what that one's going for dan deodorf again could be a super, uh, really good value right now we want to find him for about 22k preferably and he is going for about 25k that's fine again it's really early for me so you have to remember that my prices will be different so remember that we have let's get the calculator out we need one more 91 to 92 now the playoffs typically are a good filter for that as well so let's head on over there and check that out 
Guys, as a substitute, I'm going to be using this Chris Jones I had in my binder because I'm a little short on coins. He is 50,000 coins, so let's add that to the thing because 50,000 coins is honestly a solid price for him as well. So let's go finish this set off. So let's add all the math of what we spent. So we spent, let's see, let's head on over as we go over. So we spent about 64,000 coins plus 17,000 coins plus 25,000 coins plus 50,000 coins. So that cost us a grand total of about 156,000 coins. Now, keep in mind, I got things for much more expensive or very much more expensive than you guys can get them because of the time of day I'm doing this at. You guys could probably get this done for as easy as about 130K. Now, remember, that's still a really good value considering the fact that the cheapest ones go for about a 160. So let's just say, right, in the, wor in the worst case scenario ever, literally the worst case scenario, you end up getting the worst card and you only lose about nothing you may you break even you lose 10k off reduction you end up breaking even so in our case right now worst case worst card for us we break even best card for us we make a like 200k off um aaron donald so let's open this card up literally any card is going to be pretty much prop for us i'll be super excited no matter who we end up getting now for us hopefully someone really solid right here and we get chandler jones okay that's not one of the best ones it's a 96 though we probably only make our coins back on that one but that's fine guys the point is here is like what you're looking for when you do a set, right? You're looking for a set where you're guaranteed to either make or break even. There's no risk. Now, this set does not, it's not incur risk. It just doesn't because at worst case scenario, as you guys see, you break even. At best case scenario, you make a ton of coins. That's pretty much the best methods in the game. So as long as there's no chance to really lose coins, there's no risk here. Now, remember, you can do this on other accounts. Now, that goes for 250,000 coins. Never mind. We just made over 100K. We just made well over 100. Well, we made close to after reduction. We had about 100k. Never mind. I take that back. Okay, this method's solid, guys. I told you we just made 100k, and it took us about what 10 minutes? 10 minutes to do that, guys. Now remember, you're gonna get this even cheaper, so you guys would have got an even bigger profit margin. Now, as far as transferring coins over and all that, all that good stuff, guys. The simplest way to do it is either complete legend sets or get legend set pieces and trade them over to your main account and make a full legend out of them guys so let's say you made 100k you can go to like steve young and you can go buy all the set pieces trade them over to your main account and then use them to make a steve young auctionable one and then sell them or you can just sell the coin you can transfer the coins over through the auction block i don't think you're going to get killed for 100k it's more people will transfer a million coins but i recommend you either transfer it over the auction block with a bid or something or you do a complete legend set but guys that pretty much is it for the video i hope this method helps you guys out this is super glitchy i hope you guys end up loving this method guys remember if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell boys come join the family and do not forget the giveaway giveaway the giveaway giveaway the like giveaway is still going on all you gotta do to enter is be subscribed to the channel like the video comment down below the number of likes you are the number of like you are and for every 70 likes that we get i will be giving away another 10k so let's get our coin stack up from chandler jones and you guys pretty much get the profit back from him so let's see if we can get a thousand likes in this video and you guys can get a few hundred k out of this thank you guys for watching i'm out see you in the next video peace